Okay, so what we're going to be doing is actually looking at my computer screen. And all you need to do is make sure you have your router on. Now, I'm not actually even connected to uh, the internet at this point. I just have the power on. And uh, if you have, do have it connected to the internet, you'll see a few more of these lights that will uh, kind of pop up. What I am most concerned about is the Wi-Fi being on and obviously the power being on. So now that I have that in place, I'm gonna go onto my computer screen and we can do the rest from there. Okay, so I'm in a Chrome browser. This can be on either a Mac or a Windows machine. You can also use any other internet browser that you prefer. What we're gonna do is make sure that we are connected to that specific router. So I'm gonna come up here on my computer. I'm gonna, this is on a Mac. I'm gonna drop down my networks and I'm gonna find my specific router name. This is it right here, the CenturyLink 8651. I'm going to click on that guy and it's going to ask me for the password. Again, the, the name of your router, the default name of your router and the password will be located most likely on the router or in the instruction booklets that came with the router. So make sure you look at that. I'm going to type in the password that is on the router and we're going to hit join. Okay, once you've entered your password, you can actually click the join button and it'll take just a moment for us to connect. Okay, once you're connected, we're gonna come up here to the address bar and you're actually gonna type in the IP address of your router. So for this particular router, we're gonna type in 198.162.0.1. And I'm gonna hit the return key. And as you can see, that takes us into the configuration page for CenturyLink and this specific modem router configuration. Again, this is the C1100Z. All right, once you're in this initial software interface, we're going to use the administrator username and the administrator password. And again, the default for this specific one for CenturyLink is going to be admin for the username. And then your password is going to be located on your router as well. So again, locate that, the default password for the administrator, and type that in. Now, of course, if you've come into this interface before, to change uh, the default settings, you will use your specific administrator credentials that you typed in at that point. All right, now that I have the default configuration typed in there, I'm gonna hit the apply button. All right, and as you can see, we are now in the configuration mode for this specific modem. So what we're gonna to wanna to do again is we wanna change the router name and password to something a little more customized. So what we're gonna do is click on the wireless setup option. Okay, so the first thing we can do in this basic settings page is actually come down and change our network name. So what we can do is come in here, I'm gonna delete that, and let's call this test network one. Again, just, just for our purposes. And then I'm gonna hit the apply button. Now again, once I do this, usually the modem needs to reset. And so it's gonna take just a little bit of time here for it to go through that, that reset function. Okay, now that we've changed the network name, we're gonna to have to reconnect to the router. So I'm gonna come up here to my router drop-down menu. And as you can see, we have test network one as our option. Now I'm gonna click on that. And again, we're gonna get that password that comes up. Again, if you have a customized password you've already put in, you can put that here. Otherwise, use that default password again. And once you have that typed in, you can just hit the join button. Okay, we are reconnected now. I'm gonna come over here, now that we're reconnected, I'm gonna click on the wireless security page. All right, on this page, what we can do is actually customize our security key. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down to that section. And as you can see here, we have an option that says use custom security key slash passphrase. So I'm gonna click on that. And now in here, you can type out your passphrase. Again, use something that has between eight and 10 numeric, uh, symbols, those kind of things, capital letters, something that's gonna be really, really difficult for a uh, hack program to acquire. I'm gonna go ahead just for test purposes, put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then a zero. Again, do not use this, but uh, it's something that, that we can use for test purposes. I'm actually gonna hit the supply button and then our router is gonna go through that reset function again. Okay, once your router has reset, you'll reconnect automatically. And, uh, and that's basically it. You reset your network name, you reset your passcode. And uh, all you need to do now is close this page and you should be good to go. Friends, if this has helped, would you hit that thumbs up button and uh, hit the subscribe button. We've got a lot more great tutorial videos coming up real soon. Thanks for watching.